So I recently saw a video from Will Tennyson where he was training like anime characters. And I forget which character it was, but the exercise that the character did was a snatch grip press from the bottom of a squat. It's the Zorro squat overhead press. So the amount of mobility and flexibility you need for this is absolutely insane. I have not a bit, so I have the plates here for my feet. Oh my God. Typically, people would call that a SOTS press, but actually, a SOTS press is a similar thing, but from the front rack position. It was coined by Victor Sots, who's said to have been able to have done 140 kilos. So essentially, he front squatted, got all the way to the bottom of a front squat, and uh, pressed 140 kilos over his head. When I saw Will do this movement, which we can call the press in snatch, it looked really, really bad. So what I want to do is break down how you can do this movement, and if you have no interest in developing any sort of Olympic weightlifting ability, I still think the mobility demands from this movement are worthwhile to have. The first thing I'm going to do is just work on my deep squat. And for a lot of you, this is already a really difficult place to start. So what I do is I just grab an upright, something that's sturdy, I hold on to it, and I try to sink my hip crease below my knee crease. Now, while I'm down in this position, I try and wiggle around so that I don't feel all of the weight falling back. And then slowly, I try to work my hands off of the upright. Now, once I'm able to do this, I might have a really rounded back, so then I can use the upright again to straighten my back. Then I wiggle a bit more, try and get into this really low position where my hip crease is noticeably below the knee crease. I'm in a solid foundation to just stand and just stand there for a while. I want you guys to be able to build this to five minutes. Yes, that seems crazy. Uh, at first, I could only do this for 30 seconds, but now five minutes for me is pretty easy. You'll notice I'm doing this with flat feet or no shoes on. That's a little bit more difficult. If this is too difficult, you can use shoes like this. These have about an inch heel, weightlifting shoes. You can check those out. Or you can add like a little bit of a heel raise. I noticed Will used a heel raise on his, but ideally he'd be able to do a lot of deep squatting without having to uh, need some sort of heel raise. So once we have this ability, for me it just felt so much more freeing. I felt much more athletic. I felt like I could do so much more on the ground. All of my numbers increased in the weight room once I was able to do this because I was able to have longer ranges of motion and the hypertrophy from having a deep squat and having a competent mobile hip, knee, and ankle complex is incredibly worthwhile. So if you guys just stop here, that's totally fine. But if you wanna continue and go on into the press and snatch, what you're gonna to wanna to do next is grab some sort of seat. So what I do for this video is I just have a bunch of plates stacked up, and then essentially I'm trying to do what I did on the upright before, but without any upright. Wiggle around, try and find the best way for me to have solid ground so that I can have a vertical chest, but without feeling like I'm putting too much pressure on the seat. From this position, I grab with a snatch grip, and I press overhead. What I'm looking to do is keep the bar over kind of by the base of my skull, almost near my ears, keep my chin slightly down, and really lock my elbows as much as possible. You might run into problems with this, so if you do, you could probably add height to your seat, but again, we wanna be able to work to doing this without any support. And finally, what I'm able to do is just this press in snatch. Now I know that Will didn't have a chance to really work on this at all, and he was just kind of messing around, but I think that this movement is an incredible test of mobility. And when you have the mobility to do movements like this, it can help you in a lot of ways in the gym, even if you are not interested in Olympic weightlifting. <laughs> Also guys, just so we're clear, this isn't me like calling out Will Tennyson because he can't do a press and snatch. Like, I'm a massive fan of Will's. Uh, I've been consuming his content for a long time. I just thought it was cool that he was doing an Olympic weightlifting movement 
um, I think he would tell you that it didn't go so well. So I just, you know, want to teach you guys how you can do it or something like it at home. I know a lot of people aren't really interested in weightlifting or, or trying weightlifting because it's something that's difficult, but there's definitely a reward. And, and there's, I'm hearing a lot of people, they, they want the simplicity, the, uh, you know, keep it simple, stupid attitude, K-I-S-S attitude. And that's true. It's like, what can you do consistently? But you can consistently work on snatching, clean and jerking, and do the other simple things that move the needle as far as hypertrophy goes or strength goes. The coolest thing is when the two of them meet. So say you're just starting with the barbell and the snatch and it might take you a few months and you end up snatching 40 to 50 kilos uh, but you were consistent on that. At the same time you were squatting, you were bench pressing, you were doing the, all these other things and as you reach that point of snatching 40 to 50 kilos after not doing anything at all, your muscular development is arguably better because you've gained this proprioception, this ability to move through space with this incredibly dynamic and demanding movement. There's an athleticism, there's a, a purity, there's a gracefulness, there's a violence to weightlifting that is so attractive to me. And I think that it's definitely worthwhile to implement these movements in your training. So go out, give some of this stuff a shot. If you guys want more knowledge on this stuff, go to my technique playlist. There are over 50 videos that can teach you all of the in and outs of weightlifting. You can also head to my Patreon for $5 a month. I have programming on there from beginners to advanced to hypertrophy to general strength training. Anything helps, your viewership helps, your subscription to Patreon helps so much. Uh, you know, I'm really getting to do what I love and uh, I appreciate you so much for coming out and I'll see you in the next video.